Hello, today's video is called What is CERN? Today is September 21st, 2021. The agenda for today is basic information, rational, what is visible, the fairy tale, and what might be. Basic information. What is CERN? CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research and uh, is the largest particle physics uh, laboratory and is located in Europe. As you can see here, is northwest of Geneva. CERN is very famous for having a large hydron collider, and we're going to talk about exactly what that means. Large hydron collider is, in few words, a machine capable of creating collisions between subatomic particles. And you can see here from the image, this is a human, and this is one of the structures that they have there. So it's quite impressive. What is hadron exactly? In few words, it's uh, the grouping of um, of particles within the atom. So if you start with visible matter here and you go inside, you're going to see molecules. If you go inside, you're going to find the atoms. And if you keep on going inside, you're going to find the electrons that are moving in an elliptical manner around the atomic nucleus. And within this atomic nucleus, you're going to have groupings that are forming neutrons and protons. And these are the groupings that are called hadrons. That is the rationale for the short form. And the hadrons can be accumulated and form in many manners, but that's not important for the merits of this conversation. Now, what happens in this machine is that you're going to be moving and accelerating the protons first in a linear path, in a linear manner. Then you're going to create loops to keep on accelerating, and then you're going to throw them through the 27 kilometer tunnel that exists in this um, installation. So all these images are actually coming from this incredibly interesting video from um, Ars Technica, if you want to get into more details of how this functions. And the ultimate objective is to obviously create collisions, and obviously you're sending the particles in opposite directions, and then the collisions will take place. The, there are two types of collisions. One is between subatomic particles, and then you have eight machines that will analyze the results. All the details are on the website of CERN. It's very interesting, but again, not exactly the topic of this um, specific video. You also have a second way of doing these uh, explosions, and it's between subatomic particles and bigger targets, such as solids and liquids and gases. And you also have seven machines to measure this specific type of experiment. So the rationale for having all this incredibly amount of of energy and machines is to unite people from all over the world. So obviously that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's what they say. And they also say that the goal is to study the Higgs boson. Now Higgs boson is an interesting particle and uh, it was actually proven to exist after only two years of starting doing their collisions between 2010 and July of 2012, they actually were able to capture visuals of this incredibly interesting particle that has no spin, no charge, no color. Why is this important? Because that's very different than everything that has ever been found at a subatomic level. So they spent about $7 billion doing this machine, but they want to spend now $23 billion to create a super collider that is going to have 100 kilometers long tunnels. So we were talking about a 27, so now it's going to be over three times longer. Why? Because they want to keep on experimenting with what they call God's particles. So the objective of this whole experiment is to try to isolate that no spin, no charge, no color particle, manipulated, and it is my belief that they want to experiment to create life and different things that we're going to talk in a minute. So their budget is over $1 billion. You can see all the links as usual on all my videos are here in the bottom in yellow if you want to go through the details. But it's interesting how obviously all the vast majority of the money is going to the accelerators and who is funding this because you can see it's over $1 billion per year and the members that are 23 countries listed here are the ones who are supporting, and there are also other countries, Colombia, Canada, among others, who are actually helping to fund this operation. What is visible to us? Look at the logo. I'm sure by now everybody knows what this means. 
triple. And here, if you look at the name, the original name as it's disclosed is supposed to be CERN Conseil Européen pour la Recherche Nucléaire, that is European Council for Nuclear Research, but it's also the short form for Celtic horn god Serunus. So if you look at this, it's a dark man, it's an entity from the underworld, and it's not exactly positive. So maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not. Look at the entrance. Here you have an image of a two meter tall statue of the Indian deity Lord Shiva. And Shiva is actually dedicated to extinguishing life, destroy things, and after cycles on earth, create destruction. So again, perhaps a coincidence, perhaps not. So the fairy tale that they sell to you is that it is going to be used, this particle accelerator to treat certain types of cancer. If anyone believes that, I would be very surprised, but they are also using the usual tool and is to use children. And for children, it's going to be very important. I don't understand also what is this part. It's going to be great for management of patient data and parameters. I have no idea what uh, that means because you can, ex uh, you can have information either in a piece of paper, an Excel file, whatever. So what might be, is to have a dual objective. And again, this is just my hypothesis. I don't have a way of proving or disproving this. It could be a gateway to open for these kind of entities to come into our dimension. And also they're telling you that they're playing to be gods. They want to find this particle in order to create what they want. Why is this important? Because in the middle of a quote, this, we are going to restart operations of this at the end of the month. So it's interesting how when everything is supposed to be very negative for the population of the world, this is the priority of all these European countries, 23 exactly, that are funding this institution. To me, it's almost like a magician using one hand to do something that is visible. And here you can see all that is visible to all of us, but with the other hand hiding what is actually perhaps happening. They're injecting over $1 billion per year to this acceleration and collision of particles that, the way I see it, in the middle of a spiritual war, perhaps what they're doing is opening a negative portal to create even more negativity with this infamous Higgs boson. So perhaps what is not said sometimes is more important what is said, because as the world continues to talk only about one thing, this imaginary emergency that has lasted almost two years, which obviously, if it has lasted so long, is not an emergency anymore. Thank you very much.